Hi everybody, welcome to th this training session on accessing electronic resources at anywhere. My name is Telesfor Rudatebwa. Here we will tell, uh, we'll be talking about electronic resources, availability of those electronic resources at anywhere, how to access uh, electronic resources, effective searching, and possibly we'll make a small uh, demonstra uh, demonstration and do some exercise. Um, briefly, we may say that uh, being at the national, at the service of the university, the library aims to support scientific quality teaching and community service by building up a qualitative collection of printed and unprinted information sources and equipping itself with appropriate information technologies for efficient and effective information service delivery. As the digital technology has revolutionized the way information is packaged, processed, stored, disseminated, and how users seek and place information, the Anywhere Library has undertaken automation process where an important development have been made. These include a web-based based online public access catalog, Uh, in addition to that, since 2003, uh, with the financial support uh, from the National University uh, and CEDA project, and uh, in collaboration with INASPE, the Anywhere Library Services has been subscribing to over 20 databases for electronic researchers. These include EBSCO, MRAD, and so forth. So for um, um, containing thousands of electronic journals and e-books, Th those library resources can be accessed on http slash www.lib.anywhere.ac.rw. In addition to that, the National University of Rwanda Library subscribe to EZ Proxy, allowing the NUR community to access remotely via internet the library resources of campuses on http slash coffee.anywar.ac.rw. Now we're going to look see different types of electronic resources. Electronic resources or electronic library information resources are online inform information which can be accessed electronically. For example, we may mean electronic journals, scholarly databases, electronic books, internet gateways, and search engines. And among them, we have free or paid uh, database access. Uh, we may say also that uh, among types of electronic resources, some are academic. These include referred journals, review journals, preprint, and bulletins. But also, we have non academic, uh, which include professional trade journals, magazines, and newspapers. An example of academic journals, uh, we may say, for, for example, Rwanda Journal, which can be accessed through a journal info index uh, site can be seen on the screen. This is used to disseminate research findings, find out about research being carried out by other others in the field, identify methodology that might be relevant to own research. We have, uh, for example, a um, bulletin like um, African Research Bulletin, which also can be accessed to 
that uh, I, uh, link for africanresearchbulletin.com. It is used for making an uh, announcement to a specific audience and to update information in a very specific area, specified area. Uh, we have also non-academic resources such as professional trade journals, example like architect journal, uh, written by staff, writers and experts in the field, aimed at members of a trade or industry containing advertising articles do, uh, do not usually such sources. We have also um, a number of databases called databases uh, which are can be classified among them the bibli bibliographic databases, numeric, full text, video, image, and multimedia. Well, multimedia database ones. Uh, we have also other resources like uh, ebooks. Uh, for example, the one that can be accessed on Doa Do Books. We have also internet searching. Searching in, uh, search, search engines and gateways. Uh, briefly, we may say that uh, the range of electronic resources is considerable and growing at the all time. Um, the type, of, the type, quality, and usefulness of resources varies enormously. Uh, they are both free and paid resources, and it is better to be aware of the differences, benefits, and drawbacks of various kinds of resources.